Hey guys, welcome back to Joanne's Learning Hub. In this video, we would be learning about supply side policies. So supply side policies are basically macroeconomic policies which are designed to increase aggregate supply and productive potential of an economy. This can be done by improving the quantity or quality of factors of production. This can be represented by an outward shift of the production possibility curve. Effects of supply side policies include improved balance of payments, it may cause budget deficit, reduce unemployment and increased economic growth. Moving on to the supply side policy measures. First one is improving education and training. So when this measure is implemented, it can increase the skill of workers, workers will become more productive, it will reduce the cost of production for firms, it can raise the quality of products, firms can sell more and it will also encourage firms to expand. Lowering direct taxes or cutting direct taxes will increase incentives for people to work harder. This can lead to an increase in labor supply, labor productivity and also output. A cut in corporation tax will give firms more profit which may increase the incentive to invest. However, a cut in unemployment benefits may affect the poor and the disabled who are unable to work. Firms may not invest if there is a lack of confidence. Deregulation is the removal of rules and regulations. It can include the removal of barriers to entry which will increase competition, increase efficiency and lower cost of production and also lower cost of the prices. Privatization involves selling state-owned assets to the private sector. So this means that there will be increased role of market forces. This can increase competition, efficiency and thus increase output. Labor market reforms involves making laws that would reduce trade union powers which would reduce business costs and also increase output. Another supply side policy measure is to invest in research and development and also making new technologies and infrastructure. Now enterprise zones are the locations with relatively high rates of unemployment which are targeted by the government as areas in need of support by creating financial incentives for firms to locate to these areas. The strengths of supply side policy. This includes increased economic growth, reduce inflation, reduce unemployment and also an increase in the net exports of the country. Supply side policy also has its weaknesses, for example time lags, poor distribution of income, it can be expensive to implement and vested interest can also result in less effective outcomes. And that is the end of today's video. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.